R I S C stands for Research and Innovation Symposium in Computing. This is our annual R&D showcase for the CSC department and uh, for the last three years we have been doing this with the mandate of uh, the Institute of Eminence outreach program. Over a hundred students from uh, many many states and cities in India have come here. More so importantly, our students from the department also got an opportunity to showcase their research. So this is not just for the benefit of the student participants that came here, but for our own faculty and students to also know what our colleagues are doing. About 10 to 30 percent of the, of the court cases are about land and they are about land records. Then you see that there is a lot of mismatch between the actual record uh, and where your piece of land is. About 50 percent of Maharashtra's land have a discrepancy of about 20 percent. The mismatch between actual physical land and the records creates you know a lot of friction in the economy. What we are the proposal is is to build an IT stack just for land records. Cryptography is very 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 important at this point and so crucial that not only our nation states and governments but all the big companies these days like you think of Amazon starting from Google everybody is investing quite a huge amount in developing this subject. So it's a very exciting subject. I am going to be talking about large language models. All of us are dazzled by their capabilities and one particularly impressive aspect of these large AI models is the ease with which they can be taught to, to, to do new tasks with just a few examples provided in the prompt. So in addition to showcasing our own work, we had also invited external speakers uh, from three really marquee companies, Microsoft, IBM and Intel. I recently said 10 SMT solvers are heavily used in industry and actually it's an active research area in industry as well as academia. It, this uh, string constraints are heavily used in sanitization of database inputs. Uh, there is this funny comic uh, which shows that if we do not uh, sanitize uh, our database input, then it can lead to disastrous situation. We'll talk about some of the machine learning work that's happening uh, at MSR India and in particular some of the things that I have been pursuing in the last uh, few years uh, since uh, the chat GPT moment that happened. What people are not focusing on is this problem of retrieval which is how do you accurately and efficiently retrieve relevant documents from a very large corpus consisting of enterprise data or even the web data for a given query. We are going to switch gears a bit now in this talk about understanding how to do or what it means to do system research. What do you use or what do you mean by a simple design of a uh, web application? There will be a client sending requests to your front end, there will be a back end service and that will be talking to your database or a data store which will be having or storing the data, right? Through this what we really wanted to uh, get to was expose these students at their stage of career, early stage of career to research opportunities that exist in computer science. Best key takeaway which I took from here was I just came to know where the world is leading to, how AIML is uh, currently uh, inculcating in the everyday's life and how people are benefited from it, how IIT, the leading institute of India is researching on it. With this knowledge and with these takeaways, I will go back to my institute and I will also try to do the same. In my third year, I don't really have all these subjects that uh, masters and PhD students are studying right now. It made me think like how can I match my current knowledge to their current knowledge and apply it to some projects that I am working on right now. We also have live demos of uh, translational research uh, that happens in various labs in the institute. Our own PhD, masters and even bachelor students uh, gave talks uh, of 15 minute uh, lengths to the risk participants. This was a very unique event for me in the sense I was uh, presenting a talk, I was hosting a talk and I attended talks in the same event. They were fourth year or third year but they were ex able to explain very hard problems boiled down in ways that these third and fourth year students were able to understand. I like the most thing here that is uh, 
student talk because it inspires me that my students are doing such a great things and I should also do that. There were 70 plus poster presentations yesterday and through the course of two days we had several students present their research. A poster format really allows for a very intimate interaction between uh, the, the participant and the, and the presenter. The best part of it which I thought and I actually experienced was the poster presentation by the current CSE students at IIT Bombay which really is thought provoking and for us as a student from computer science background it's really motivating and can say that's something that we are taking back to work in the same domain with some impactful findings that we can bring to the table and society. Each and every poster hi uh, highlights some of the hidden uh, innovation that the PhD students have done. Very often the speaker or like the poster presenter kind of learns new things himself or herself because of not really thinking about the whole thing all at once beforehand. Discussions from the audience typically ask questions that perhaps the speaker has not thought of and sometimes that could lead to very nice future work. We had a very engaging panel discussion. The purpose was really given the age of uh, current era in AI, different job opportunities they can take and not just that whether they choose an industry career path or uh, going into academia, what are all the different options they can avail. Uh, I have seen people who are very good at one thing and they are able to do it very deeply. Uh, this is extremely useful in large corporates. So let's say if I'm joining Google and I'm great at building search engine related algorithms. So that, uh, you know, it makes me a perfect fit candidate for a large company like Google. For a startup founder, an ideal workforce will be someone who, who can think a little more horizontally rather than just going deep, right? Uh, and that requires a lot of second order thinking. Uh, the world is not about, all about LLMs, right? Uh, as we are sort of made to think today, there is so much more about uh, I mean, human beings, how they interact with AI, about how much heat AI is producing. There are many problems, I think, which are very um, important for, I don't know, our future, which are not currently in the crosshairs of uh, industry. Right? Uh, you work with the problems that your clients are facing, or you, you can do a direct impact through your research as well, right? You can see your research being in a product that's working, that's being used by a lot of users. Like, would AI replace normal workforces? But this question has existed throughout the 20th century. So if you look at 1930s, if you look at 1960s, if you look at early 2000s, these questions have already always existed, whether the new upcoming technology would replace the existing labor force. Beyond that, uh, they also got to know about opportunities of uh, internships, uh, pre-doctoral research programs, or um, you know, master's, PhD programs that they can pursue in these places. Our vision is to be a leading contributor to the enterprise of making the digital environment trustworthy. The participants have uh, listened to some brilliant talks by our students, seen demos, seen posters in all kinds of fields, in AI, in systems, in theory. And I hope this has inspired them. We hope that they are dreaming that they will be the student giving this talk two or three years from now, doing some brilliant work, publishing somewhere, talking about their work to the rest of the world. All in all, the various formats gave a lot of uh, variety of interaction. And that was really the goal for RISC 2025.